to you guys real quick about the BRM VW engine recommendations for maintenance. Um, most of us know that the factory maintenance on this engine is uh, 10,000 mile oil changes with uh, original Pentasen 505.1 oil or Motul, one of the German total oils. Um, I would not use anything other than those other than uh, German engineered oils. Um, uh, some guys are using the uh, what's it called uh, T6 but it is not recommended for this engine. So and some of the guys are using uh, Castrol but I'm not certain that the 507 meets the 505.1 maybe it is superseding it I'm not sure. So I just stick to the basics on the on the BRM engine. Now I'm going to go over above a couple things here. So the transmission oil changes would be every 40,000 40, miles as per the dealer. Um, water pump timing belt in all the belts replaced every 80,000 miles. Now um, those are the normal everyday factory recommended things. Now I'm going to go one step above that real quick. So on your second your second timing belt. I have found that my, my camshaft went out at 190,000 miles. Now, one of the things that happens, and I, and I think I almost set a record on that. Most of them are going out before that, depending on the oil you use. Some guys are not using the factory recommended oils. So the camshaft is going out even less than 150,000. So, I figure that if you've made it to your second timing belt, if I were to do it again, I would change the camshaft at that point because you're halfway there. It's not hard to do. The camshaft is really not that hard to do other than you need to make sure that you take the small bolts out of the cam followers, not the large ones. The large ones take the cylinder head off. So a lot of people make that mistake. So they're really, really small bolts and you need to replace all the bolts because they are TTY torque to yield bolts. So reason I would do that at a hundred and at 160,000 miles when you change because probably you're not far away from the cam going flat and you're going to have to take it all apart again that's one reason the second reason most important reason is that a lot of times when the camshaft goes flat flat the cam followers are made out of carbon steel and they can get a little burr on them on the edge of the cam follower and ruin the cylinder head. So if you want to take a chance on your cylinder head getting ruined, waiting for your cam to go flat, um, go for it. But if it was me to do again, right at 160,000 miles when I changed the timing belt for the second time, I would change the camshaft at that point. Now. A couple of pointers on the camshaft. Make sure that it is a German or Spanish camshaft that exceed it meets the factory recommendation that meets factory specification. In other words, I think Klob and Schmidt made them made some of them in Germany and then had a second vendor in Spain that they were getting from. So, and some guys are going well. I'll go with the the better camshaft um, that's made by someone else. I don't know who the hell makes it, but you know, honestly, I took that camshaft out of the engine on this thing, and um, unfortunately, I wasn't doing videos at that point, so I didn't get a video of doing the whole cam. So there's a, there's plenty of guys that do it, so you can watch their videos, and there's a lot of tutorials and on TDIClub.com on how to do it. Um, so there, and there's a lot of step by steps out there. So maybe I'll make a video when I do it again, but it won't be for a while. But um, one of the things that I found when I took the camshaft out of this car is I took a hammer and punch and I peened the camshaft, new one and the old one, on the side just to see if I could put a mark in it. Both camshafts I was not able to put a mark in. Okay. Uh, I mean, literally, it's like 
it might be made out of chromoly steel. It might be made out of something. It is made out of something seriously significant steel. It is not just a regular um, everyday camshaft that's in this car. In fact, I showed it to some guys and we were like, wow, this is like what they put in our, our top fuel dragsters. I mean, these things are made out of uh, really high uh, grade steel and then the lifters are made out of carbon steel and they're OEM. So you got to stick with 100% OEM camshafts. There's guys that sell them on eBay for about 500 bucks in kits, but make sure it is OEM spec, 100% either made in Spain or made in Germany. So, um, and that will keep you from having to do it sooner on the next one. Um, and watch those tutorials on how to adjust your um, things and all that stuff if you're going to do it yourself. But save yourself some time and headache. If you have the BRM, this engine is a great engine. Um, people go, oh, my God, the cam goes flat on it. You know, well, yeah, some guys are changing to the BEW cam. You can try that if you want. Um, they say it doesn't go flat. But honestly, um, I stick to the factory recommended one. Yeah, they messed up. Yeah, they, they did. But um, I think they just put over overlifted it, put too much spring tension on it to keep the get the RPMs up on this engine. So just a little pointer there on maintenance. Um, stick to all those maintenance intervals and replace the, make sure when you do the second one, I would, for me, I would replace it. I would just do the camshaft right when you do the second timing belt. All right, well, I'll talk to you in the next video.